Hello and welcome! Silray is here with Build Showcase. Build on your screen right there. Pause the video if you wish to copy the exact main components also listed in the description below. Moroder 2C, the C variant. You're going to see my first two games ever with this particular variant in this video. So no pilot skills have been unlocked and also no modules were mounted either. So if you have the pilot skills and the modules to go with this build, you're going to see a nice performance increase. The C variant was kind of simple to make a build for, because it has two ballistic hard points in the side torso, so you put something there. I decided to go with two Ultra 10s and some medium lasers in the arms with a pretty big engine, and also note that this is one of the two uh, Marauder 2C variants which actually can mount jump jets. So there is that. But remember to mount some jump jets to be able to traverse the terrain better. I am just trying to create an overwatch here. Uh, this is fairly good location now with the whole domination ring having been moved. Because you can... I am inside the uh, capture ring, capture zone, and the enemy is kind of uh, did something for half of the match. Because it's all also now for those folks on that side, it takes a little bit longer to get to the domination uh, capture point from that spawn. And it is a little faster to get there from the spawn Well, I actually spawned at. So there is that. But since team wants to start fighting it out, let's push up a little bit here. And uh, use those jump jets to try and get uh, uh, the higher ground uh, and poke around here. Anybody? Anybody for me to shoot at? Alright, there we go. Somebody and also somebody on my side here. Hello. Do you want to uh, try fighting me? And that is an XL engine uh, uh, Cataphract 4X. How do I know it's an XL engine? Because with that amount of guns it only can't run that amount of guns with an XL engine, alright? Can't do that with anything else. There, eh, somebody really, really wants me dead here. That's fine. That's fine. Poke at me all you want. My team is destroying, uh, well, everybody else. Let's go down here. Oh, well, down from uh, the top of the uh, thing, because it's like, alright, if you folks really, really want to put all those missiles in me, then you do that. I'm gonna go and kill these people who are coming into our flank from the tunnel. That seems much more reasonable to me. Of course, this is a little too many at my face at the moment, but that's fine. I am just gonna eat an overheat here and... Okay, I didn't die. What is happening? I didn't die to that overhead. Hey, right. well, there is more dudes there still, coming a whole lot more, and I'm very much the front mech, so I'm very more likely to uh, get blown to bats. Eat that second overheat while I'm around the corner like that, so that definitely works. And now we're there is a pincer maneuver, a pincer move going on by the enemies, and when you're getting pincer moved like that, there is one thing to do: you push one direction to, you know, kill anything on the other side and avoid that pincer. And there goes the side torso because there is a big thing here and let's move on to the next one. Moving on from Crimson Strait to Forest Colony. My little flanking move there on Crimson Strike didn't work out. I was hoping to go through the tunnel and stuff. But apparently they had King Crab watching their rear, so oh well, there is that. Now, unfortunately, since I decided to put my first two games into this uh, particular video, the second game is exactly same game mode. Doesn't usually happen this way, but did this time around. Unfortunate, but that's how we roll for this time. Now, Forest Colony domination is always interesting because the uh, domination capture point is in a strange sort of a location now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna poke some bullets over at people because those two side torso mounted ballistic slots are fairly high on the Mac. Make use of them to poke over ridge lines like this. 
and pirate things which are down there, like those folks. Hello, would you like some uh, big, big uh, bullets and shells and some laser beams as well? Yellow laser beams. Not red, not blue, yellow. Alright. But since the team is going this way, I'm gonna go this way. Let's uh, join them on uh, this uh, particular side. Now, my belief is if you go on this side here, you're pushing. The other side of this hill actually has cover and whatnot you can use to try and trade shots with and so on. If you go here, you are pushing. That's exactly what I am doing. Also, they were thinking of doing the same thing and this kind of prevents them from doing that. Thankfully, I do have a big boys here on my side coming as well and I am very much going to push. I'm not gonna hang around these corners. Well, shave some rear armor off a griffin though and then poke back. I'll let these guys share some of the uh, armor distribution and then keep, keep on going. Hello? I see you there, Orion. Would you like to run away from me or do you want to uh, eat some more shells? Uh, being a little patient because the folks on, on, at my side were uh, also a little patient. Entirely different mech poking around. Also, let's avoid those missiles. Missiles are not all that fun. Alright, so PPCs and whatnot have been fired. Now I'm gonna go. Very much going to go, alright? Uh, hang around just a sec, pre-fire the corner, pull back. I think one of my shells clipped whatever was po re poking their head again. Re-poking their head again. As in poking from the exact same location. Don't do that. If you're poking from somewhere like that, uh, enemies will be pre-firing the corner which you are poking around. So uh, don't, don't do that. Alright, I'm trying to get around the atlas, trying to figure out, okay, which way are you going? And then he walks right into me. Alright, whatever. Uh, the other Marauder is going, I'm gonna go as well. Definitely go when the team goes. And hello there, would you folks like some more bullets and shells? And oh, okay, there is a awesome there with long range missiles. Alright, let's go hunt that thing down. Because uh, as soon as I get into the, well, within the minimum range of those long range missiles, I have basically nothing to fear. fear. I think there was like one medium pulse laser there, and that's it. So, how do you destroy, absolutely destroy a uh, long range missile mech like that? Um, you just get into the brawling range of it. And it has been destroyed, it's been basically neutered useless. Alright, hello. I am, I am here in your face, what do you do now? You shoot at me with one medium pulse laser, right? Actually, you don't shoot at me, you shoot at somebody else. And this is where I eat a nice overhead here, and I am no, in no fright whatsoever to being killed by anything, even though I overheat it, because there was just that one awesome there. All right, let's continue the push. If I go around here, I can get to the rear of these other folks. So let's do that, right? They are still around the corner, or at least they were last time I looked at the map. So, uh, guess not, guess they are dead. Uh, hello Stormcrow, I'm gonna shoot at you some as well. And if you are focusing somebody else, that's even better, then I can just pour fire into you and you will definitely be going down here. Right? Uh, I would like to hit some of those shots though, that would have been brilliant. Anyway, that's pretty much the game. Try this build out, it is fun and also... Do not insult your enemies with this GG easy and whatnot, because it is just bad practice and just really reflects on you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.